but it is only short way through qualifying and another man who will definitely want to be putting a 90 plus on the board is Peter Vjainsek he is the undisputed one of the best drivers to ever be produced in Europe but he struggled this year the car has been working against him stupid problems but when it works he definitely can work it and Vjainsek's ready for another big run of Riga he's top qualifying three times in the last six years what can he do here yeah, well, Caddy Man's going to go for it puts the rear wheels of that Supra into the outside zone carrying a lot of speed oh that was a gangster flip from Vincek as he comes down now in front of the commentary tower, fires that super back across the circuit again. Look at the front end dip as he gets on the foot brake. Another driver that puts it into the outside zone, so nice and early. The experience from Vincek as he puts it back into the wall and across the line. Another textbook run. That is a huge run. The speed he carried the, through the, that course was the just. The transitions were was, dangerous. They were 90 degrees. I honestly think that when this car, I and mean, we've had, I mean, the cars works, Gremlins. Yeah. Pretty much been Peter Vincek's story. But when it's working look at the potential of this driver and car combo because this was a master class man he threw on so much angle he had to kind of s correct the steering to make sure that he didn't go too far like this is a ridiculous run for a first look run. at his full throttle he didn't lift until here he lifted there dabbed the handbrake and then went straight back into it beautiful textbook stuff there from Vincek and you know what Dave it's really nice to see him comfortable back in the zone and the machinery working that that Peter Vincek yeah. that we we adored for so many years the man that won here time and time and time again well when Vincek's not in the mix you miss him yeah 100%. because he brings that X factor yeah but it's taken time new chassis and again the, the Toyota Supra this new Supra I mean it's only been released as a car in 2021 yeah so it's a very fresh car that people are still trying to find what's the I mean you look at the Nissans you look at the BMWs you've got 20 plus years of yep. development but he seems like when it's working this thing can beat anybody oh. on 95 for Peter Fjainsek on his first run. We just go back to back 90s with the most winningest and the youngest driver in the championship. So it's all been blown open. Business has just picked up in the last two or three minutes. We're going to a semi final final. Whole new thing this year. A lot of fun. Exciting. Man that is in the top four right now also is Peter Fjainsek. He has a 95. Where do you find the other five points? He has got a 99 on the circuit before. That is a fact in the S15. But I think this 95 is the highest score he's got so far in the Supra. It is, yeah. You're right. But could he go higher? Could he go up to 99 or 98 or 100? I don't know what that looks like. So I, that would have to be a scary thing to watch. Let's see what happens. Comes off the line. Peter Vjainsek in the Toyota Supra. Can he go even higher? Can he beat Laurie Heinen? Oh, well, he's gone early. He's gone early and he's going faster than he did before. And he's right to the edge of the circuit. Look at that wheel on the white line as he puts a wheel to the curb now. As Vincek says, I can go higher. Oh, my God, it didn't even make sense. He was 90 degrees to both curbs as he now puts the car into the outside zone. Peter Vincek is on another level this year. He's on another level right now as he finishes an incredible run. Oh, that's up there. It's already up there. He's already in second position, but is it better than Heinen's? He was 1.5 points behind Heinen on his first run. I think everything was perfect. Does he make too much contact with the wall at the end? Is the only thing I could take a point or two away from? And I'm not a judge, so I don't know why I'm taking points away from. Yeah, I, I don't know how much is, is too this much. This is perfect. This is phenomenal. Perfect. Transitions, perfect. No, it's the transition... Here. But does he hit the curb? Is that a deduction? Watch. No, no he's literally perfect. on it. It's perfect. Look at this. And again, and then look at the line. Oh, he's so full steam here. Oh, my God. And it's the only thing I was talking about. He comes in here. It's perfect. Does he tag the wall? He didn't even no, slow the car No, but does he tag the wall down. a little heavy? Just, it doesn't even really, does he? Does he handbrake here? It's a touch. <laughs> Three small jabs yeah. boop, boop, will do. And then we're on the wall. Look Watch at the steering focus. wheel. Does he have a bit heavy of a hit towards the end of the wall? Just keep an eye. We won't. I, I, don't, I don't think he does. It's first position. It's at 97.5. And you know what? I completely agree. 